Why do ships have different colored bottoms? Today, we're setting sail on a journey to unveil the secrets behind this maritime tradition. So, why the different colors? The answer lies in the desire to create a distinct boundary between what's submerged and what's above the waterline. The different color serves as a visual marker, a line of separation. When ships navigate through the water, they want to make it clear where the waterline is. The different color on the hull helps with this, ensuring the ship's bottom is easily distinguished from the top. Now, let's explore the unsung hero of ship maintenance, anti-fooling paint. It's the ship's armor against stubborn marine growth. Anti-fooling paint is specially designed to prevent barnacles, algae, and other sea creatures from attaching to the ship's hull. How does it work? Well, it contains copper compounds that create an environment hostile to these unwelcome guests. The story of anti-fooling paint is a fascinating one, steeped in history and innovation. Centuries ago, sailors recognized the antimicrobial properties of copper. They started using copper plates on their ship hulls as it discouraged marine growth. The copper plates acted as a shield against the elements. Over time, the idea of using copper evolved into the creation of copper-based anti-fooling paint. This breakthrough allowed for a more even and efficient application of copper to protect ships from the nuisances lurking in the sea. In today's world of ship industry, we have advanced anti-fooling paint that not only protects the ship, but also meets environmental regulations. Environmental concerns led to the development of anti-fooling, paints with lower environmental impact. These paints use less copper and are carefully formulated to minimize harm to aquatic ecosystems. In conclusion, the different colored ship bottoms serve to separate and protect. While anti-fooling paint has come a long way from copper plates to sophisticated modern solutions, most ship bottoms are still painted red due to tradition rooted in the use of copper oxide paint. If you found this voyage enlightening, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Join us for our next adventure. See you in next video.